so uh, welcome to Fort Worth. We just checked into our room uh, and we're gonna unload really fast. Go get a bite to eat and come back if we have time, do a little bit of fishing on the lake. I just finished the Helix 7 installation video on the Topwater 120 PDL, so that will be coming out really soon. I wanna throw a huge, like mega shout out to Mariner Sales for those of y'all that don't know, in my opinion, they are the best kayak outfitter here in the state of Texas. Definitely worth taking the drive from my area, Houston, all the way up here. Those guys saved me with the Helix 7 video because I didn't have the RAM mount and also I needed a battery and they are the sole distributor of the FPV power battery. That's what my son uses on his Hobie Outback. So Dave, Eris, Rich, thank y'all so much for continuing to treat me like family. Uh, I really appreciate it. All right, let's get unloaded and that is it. We are going to enjoy our time here. Morning everyone. It's time to get out there on the lake and try this brand new unit out. I want to throw a special shout out to Johnson Outdoors for hooking the channel up with a nice, and I'm talking nice, unit. This guy is, uh, I mean, I don't even know. Let's get out there on the lake. We'll turn it on, see what it's about, and then we'll start talking good things about it. Started. before we even do anything check this out the Lake Master Mid-South so this is Texas and some of the other states that we have around us let's pop this fella open and install the card fire the unit up get on the water and catch us some bass baby I don't know how to put this card in ah that's how we do it Seriously, how does this thing go in, bro? Well, that was really hard to get inside there. There we are. Now we're set. We've got the power, baby. Let's close this up. First time fishing on a freshwater lake. This is going to have to scoot over just a little bit. There we go. That's good for right now. Firing her up. There we go, look at that, beautiful. The water on the lake is higher than I have ever seen it. When we came yesterday just to check it out, the water level was extremely high. There's usually stumps that we can see over here, but I'm not able to see anything. All we're gonna do is cast towards the bank and then just reel in. Uh, that's what I'm gonna use because the sun hasn't done its thing to this bank right here. We'll start it off with the hunchback. Here we go. Like this is super flooded. Like I am, I am impressed with how high this lake is. Oh, got him. He came up. He came up and just blew up on it. First bass, my old stomping ground. Oh, oh, there's another bass right here, Christian. There was another bass that came up with him. We got us a beauty right here. Look at this beautiful largemouth. A good two and a half pounds or so. Oh my gosh, his jaw is just ruined on the hunchback. That guy came up and he missed it. Look at that. Come back again. Gimpy, you got that jacked up jaw. Beautiful <laughs> largemouth, man. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for that fight. We've got some fish directly below me, and that's what I love about the freshwater scene is it's deep enough to actually use your electronics to see those guys. So I'm gonna reach behind me, grab another rod, tie on a swimming jack to the, uh, the Conquest, and then we're gonna cast down towards the bottom and s like kind of swim, but also jig at the same time. Hopefully we'll be able to hook whatever it is down there, especially if it's bass. So I just 
Notice that I don't have any swimming jacks. They're all inside my salt water box. Let's see what we got inside our side pockets. A hoagie bug, a worm. Aha, we got one. Yes, I can't be too picky about the color. This is the like plum chartreuse. We'll try using this fella. Let's make our first cast. I'm gonna let that go all the way down to the bottom. Keep an eye on our line. It's pretty tout right now. And as soon as it hits the bottom, it'll give a little slack indicating that it's at the bottom. There we go, right there. See, that's just a twitch that I'm talking about. And then we reel to take in the slack. Another twitch. And with each twitch, I'm pulling the, the lure just a little bit so that the tail can do its thing. It's This is a traditional paddle tail. Maybe if we get a lucky enough cast, because I didn't mark the way, I didn't throw a waypoint to mark those fish. But if we get lucky, we'll pass right over them. Super slow, the Lake Fork Shad. Oh! Did you see him? Oh my gosh, that dude, it felt like I just hit a stump and then it started moving. Oh my gosh, people. Y'all, my heart is broke. Oh my God. I, I just cannot believe those are the sleeping giants that this lake holds and because i'm using a small little crappie lure that fella came up opened that mouth and just bamboozled me it could be because of the flooding it could be because there's no wind it could be because of this green crap that's all over yeah it's very steep drop right next to the rocks oh Oh, that's my first fish of the day, baby. Oh, God, it's a good one, Christian. Get your net, get your net. It's a catfish, it's a channel cat. Where is it? You got it underneath your thing. Don't drop that bag. That's a channel. Yeah, it's a cool, that's a, a decent eating catfish. This is the Joint Strike Fighter, Christian. Coming behind us. The airplane scare you? <laughs> I was like trying to cover my ears. <laughs> That's that joint strike fighter, son. Yeah, that's our newest attack. And Lockheed is right across the runway from the base. What? Lockheed? Yeah. All right, everyone. That was just halftime. The uh, second half of halftime is gonna be spent at the hotel room, going into a food coma for about an hour or so, let the sun uh, kind of do its thing and stop heating up the planet. And then we're gonna go out to another little lake that's nearby called Marine Creek. Hopefully we're gonna have a lot better luck that way. And Christian will be able to get on his first bass up here in North Texas. 